Hey everyone, it's the excellent dude again with another Excel how-to video. In this video, I'll show you how to use the VLOOKUP function. VLOOKUP, which is short for vertical lookup, is an Excel function that allows you to look up data in a vertically organized table. Let's begin with a very basic example. I have a list of salespeople, their region, annual sales, and commission rate. Now let's pretend that this is a super long list of salespeople where scrolling to find specific details would be a pain. Now let's say I'm the sales manager and I want to quickly look up the annual sales of members of my sales team. This is where we could use the VLOOKUP function to make our lives much easier. I'm going to set up a search area where the sales manager can look up a salesperson and then get their annual sales using the VLOOKUP function. First, I'm going to copy the heading styles from the data table so that I can enter the salesperson in cell B4 and get their annual sales in C4. And I'll set up cell C4 to show results in currency. In C4, we'll start our VLOOKUP function with equals VLOOKUP and open bracket. As you will see, the tooltip is now showing us four things we need to make this work. Lookup value, table array, call index num, and range lookup. In this example, the lookup value is the name of the salesperson that we want to search. We could enter the salesperson name directly into the function. However, let's make it refer to whatever value we put in cell B4. This allows us to make this search dynamic and that we can use it over and over again without constantly editing the function. We'll add a comma and move on to the next item. The table array is the range of data that you want to search. In this case, it would be E3 to H14, which you could manually enter as E3 colon H14 or you could simply highlight the table with your mouse. We'll add a comma and move on to the next item. The call index num is the column where you want to search for the annual sales. In this case, it would be the third column from the left, so we'll enter three. Add a comma and we're on to the last item. Range lookup is a bit confusing. The two options are true and false. True means it would return the first approximate match to your lookup value, whereas false means it would return the first exact match. Generally, we want to use false and close off the function and click enter and we're ready to go. It's showing an error at the moment because we haven't entered a salesperson in cell B4 yet. So let's try entering Michael Stone, click enter, and there you have it. His annual sales of $541,600 are returned. Let's try another. We'll enter Deborah Waters and click enter. Her sales of $612,900 are shown. Here's a way to make it even easier to search for salespeople instead of entering the salesperson's name in cell B4 and having to worry about spelling their names right. We can add a drop down list of all the salespeople. We'll clear Deborah out of B4 and then select the Data tab and choose Data Validation and click Data Validation again. And under Allow, we'll choose List. And under Source, we'll click the arrow and then highlight the salesperson's names in our table and click OK. Now we can easily find the annual sales of all the salespeople. If you want to learn more about drop down lists, please check out my video. You can find the link in the upper right or in the description below. Well, that's it. VLOOKUP is a powerful function that is super useful when you have large or multiple data tables. If you find my videos informative, please give this video a thumbs up. And please consider subscribing and clicking the notification icon to be notified when I release new videos. Thanks again and have an excellent day.